she able to pay a $10.4 million judgment? Oh, no, absolutely not. You may be familiar with the name Camille Vasquez, Johnny Depp's lawyer in his defamation trial against Amber Heard, who somewhat became an internet sensation. Depp's fans all over the world praised and adored Camille, but unluckily for Amber, her lawyers weren't welcomed with such praise. Why couldn't Amber's lawyer, Elaine Breedhoft, win over the public in the way Camille did? A new claim suggests that Miss Heard's lawyers may have underperformed due to being underpaid. Amber Heard is reportedly broke, so did she even pay her lawyers? Let's dig in and find out. Amber Heard's lawyer, Elaine Breedhoft, has spoken out after Johnny Depp won his high-profile trial against his ex-wife. The court awarded the actor $10.4 million in damages, but Miss Breedhoft says Miss Heard can't afford it. Absolutely not, Elaine Breedhoft said on the Today Show when asked if Amber has the means to pay the amount the jury awarded Johnny. In addition, Johnny Depp recently listed his and Amber's penthouse in downtown LA for sale, which made Amber legally homeless. The actress is reportedly living in a small town called Yucca Valley in California, a two-hour drive away from her former LA penthouse. Everything seems to be crashing down for Amber Heard. Did Amber Heard's lawyer lose because she was too confident and underprepared? Miss Breedhoft told the Today Show that she believes social media is absolutely having an effect on the case, and cited this as one of the main reasons why they lost. Do you think that had an effect on the case? Absolutely. Even if the jury was influenced by social media, the question is, why was social media so strongly against Amber Heard in the first place? Not only Elaine Breedhoft didn't win over the public, but she had an altercation with her client, Miss Heard, too. In one occasion during the trial, Amber Heard can be seen storming off due to her frustration with her own lawyer. This really was not a good look for the defense and Amber Heard personally, since she even ended up being reprimanded by the judge. Heard was trying to answer her lawyer's questions even though Vasquez had objected to it. Normally, when there's an objection, you're supposed to wait for the judge to either overrule or sustain the objection before answering. Heard wasn't doing that, and it was clearly getting her more and more flustered. The storming out moment came when Breedhoft just couldn't carry on with the questioning and claimed that she had no more questions for her client. Heard was visibly angered by this whole ordeal, and she ended up getting up and walking out of the courtroom. According to a source familiar with Amber Heard's legal strategy, lawyer Elaine Breedhoft was too confident, as reported in the New York Post. From the beginning, Elaine was very, very confident. They thought Johnny Depp's burn email was enough to prove the case. They were too confident and they their team was outdumped, the source said. If Elaine had expected a much easier win, could this mean that she had agreed to take on the case pro bono and take her cut if Amber wins the case? If that's the case, it means that Ms. Heard not only owes Johnny Depp over $8 million, but she also has yet to pay her legal fees as well. Fans on Twitter seem to believe that Amber doesn't pay her lawyers. One of the comments says, Why do Amber's lawyers keep asking witnesses if Johnny pays them? Of course he would pay them, why wouldn't he? Why do they sound so shocked that that happens? Does Amber not pay anyone? Here is another comment that supports the same theory. Amber Heard's lawyers are so shocked that Johnny pays his workers, as if people are supposed to work for free. They are jealous that they haven't gotten a cent from Amber. Do you think that Amber has paid anything to her lawyers? Tell us why you think their team lost the case and if money had anything to do with it.